Hello dear students. Today I am going to discuss on priority scheduling based on non preemptive I believe that you might have gone through my previous video series on priority scheduling using preemptive scheduling. As the name indicates, the process try to process, uh, get through the CPU on the basis of a priority conditions. In the given uh, uh, sheet, you can see that the question asks for a can chart preparations from the given table. This is the given table, and also find the time of arrival average as well as average waiting time. As the name indicates, the non preemptive means suppose P1 is one process, it takes uh, four units of time, P2 is the next process, it takes five units of time. P3 is next process, it takes one unit of times in the burst conditions. P4 takes two units of times. P5 takes three units of times. And P6 takes six units of times. Apart from that, if you treat the, see the priority, let me put these questions with the additional is that high priority high priority is large number. Let us con take the condition. That means if you try to see here, the highest priority is 7. So if the 7 is there, then we will uh, give this one as the highest priority 1. After processing the P1, P1 has to process. You have nothing to do with numbering. P1 first process will go. The next uh, process after uh, uh, P3 is coming P6. So this is going second. And after that which is coming P2. This is third. Then comes uh, fourth. Fourth is which one? Which, uh, which process is uh, coming as fourth? Fourth is coming as process. Two, yeah. Then uh, P4. Then it is coming as fifth, and that's how the whole six process is going to proceed. Now here, uh, one thing you have to remember that one under the case of a, a non-priority priority uh, non-primitive uh, situations, the P1 has to process, and you can uh, CPU cannot be par. So let's see how this particular process is being used to process and. Uh, uh, and also how it can be incorporated in the Gantt chart. So let me uh, put the first process uh, P1 here because P1 will take the arri uh, arrival time and uh, the burst time based on the condition of plus 4 so you will be getting 4. That means the execution's time, the completion time uh, will become at 4. So the whole process is being processed. But here one, one thing you might have noticed is if the 4 unit of time it is processed at the same time up to here that means P1 to P5 is only the ready queue conditions. The whole 6 way has not come. So we can directly go to the next priority. What is our next uh, highest priority is nothing but the P3 process. So that the P3 process let me put down here. So I am putting down here P3. Now P3 needs how much burst times? Plus 1. So plus 1 we got it as 5. Now after P3 what, what happened? This process has come up, arrival time is 5 equal to 5. The whole 5 condition is there. So ready queue condition has been satisfied. Now what is the next? After P3 the next process based on the priority is nothing but the process 6. So we put down here P6. Now P6 needs how much times uh, to process this one based on the burst time equal to 6. So we add 6 so it becomes 11. Now after P6 which is the next process the process is nothing but a P2. Now P2 need how much time? P2 need 
a bus time of 5. You can see bus time of 5. So we add plus 5 here. So it becomes 60. Now after P2 which is the next process 3, 4 that is P4. So P4 here. P4 need how much bus times? P4 need a bus time of 2. You can see here 2. So it becomes 18. After P4 which is the next process which is the process P5. And the P5 needs how much uh, uh, time to process the P5? P5 needs a process of a with the 3 burst times. So 18 plus 3, 21. So we need the process up to 21 unit of time that can able to take all the 6 processes. Now here the next job is very simple. We can see that every process is uh, uh, is executing at this uh, uh, without having a group that means the whole burst time is taken and processed so this becomes zero 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 this becomes become. because everything is instant you can see that how it is four is four here uh, and uh, uh, the next uh, case p3 was there p3 was uh, uh, having a uh, um, uh, sorry I have a mistakes here. This is not this conditions of zero. Rather, this becomes zero. 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 This becomes. This is a priority. So you can see uh, the P1 case plus four has come. P3 case plus one has come. P6 case plus six was there. P5 case plus five was there. Two has. Uh, P2 uh, case is there. Uh, now after that. Uh, P4 case is there, plus 2 has come, P5 case was there, and plus 3. So all process becomes zero. Now completion time. As completion time, how we do? We see from the extreme right side towards the left. So first case, P5. Now P5 case, what, what was the completion times? It was 21. After that P4, it is 18. P2 is 16. Then P6. 11, P3, 5, P4, 4, you see, P5 is 21, P4 uh, completes at 18, then P2 completes at 16, P6 completes at 11, P3 completes at 5, P1 completes at 4. So that's all. Now this is turnaround time is this minus this. Current time minus arrival time. So here we write it as 4, 15, 3, 15, 17, 6. And waiting time is time arrival, uh, turnaround time minus burst times. So here 0, 10, 2, 13, 14, 0. So we sum up the turnaround times so it comes as 60. Here sum up when we do as 39. So now uh, we will uh, see exactly what is going to be the average turnaround time. Average turnaround time is nothing but 60 divided by 6. What is 60? 60 is nothing but the total turnaround time and 6 is nothing but number of process. So that is coming as 10. Average waiting time. Waiting time is the total average of waiting is and the total average of the waiting time is 39 divided by number of process is 6. So that is coming as 6.5. So, in the case of a non preemptive priority schedulings, and we have seen that it is almost all like FCFS, only the case is that in the, FCF, in the case of a FCFS, uh, first come, first serve, everything is on the serial order. But in the case of a priority uh, scheduling and a non preemptive case, it will be based on the priority conditions based on the priority conditions it will work 
So I believe that you have understood this particular priority scheduling. Thank you.